थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रेस एनालिसिस ऑफ प्रेशर वेसल इन दिस प्रॉब्लम प्रेशर वेसल इज ओपन एट बोथ एंड एंड इनर प्रेशर इज वन पास्कल एंड द प्रेशर वेसल इज फिक्स्ड एट बॉटम एंड means it is mounted on saddle support so this problem we are going to solve so as this is a problem related to structural analysis select structural okay <coughs> in pre processor we have to select three dimensional solid element element type add edit delete add solid Now you select 3D element. Tate 4 node 285 means a tetrahedron, which is a simplex element having four nodes. If you select 10 node 187, so it is a complex tetrahedron, so which is a higher order element. So here we will select Tate 4 node 285. Okay, close. Material properties, material models. structural linear elastic isotropic 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square and 0.3 poisson's ratio okay now here we are expected to enter density of the pressure vessel density of the material so that is generally it is taken 7800 10 raised to minus 9 newton per mm cube sorry kg per mm cube okay close now in modeling we will create a cylinder volume cylinder and select hollow cylinder so hollow cylinder it's a internal radius we will take say 35 35 ha theek hai 35 external radius we will take 45 depth of the cylinder means length of the cylinder it will be 150 mm okay <coughs> now in this way cylinder is generated which is opened at both end now in meshing mesh tool now here we have to select global instead of selecting areas and line because it is a volume now here you have to select go global element edge length means length of each side of tetrahedron so that i will take 5 mm instead of 5 i will take 1 mm okay now mesh option is there select mesh select this volume okay now it is getting meshed meshing volume one of one only one volume is there so total element count i think may be more than 64000 here element count you are observing and these are increasing so elements will be more in this case because element edge length is very small it is just 1 mm so it will take more time for meshing mesh model is generated so number of elements generated are Two seven six nine, and number of nodes generated are nine eight zero. Now, this pressure vessel we will will subject it to internal pressure. Analysis type is static. Okay, define loads. Apply structural pressure option is there. So pressure on areas 
so you have to select internal area so internal surface you have to select okay so how to select this internal surface this is very important step so first of all you select this is it internal surface not so here it is it is internal surface okay so its a number is 6 are you getting so area number 6 is internal surface once again i will select now another area now it is also internal surface and its area is 5 means 5 and 6 number areas are internal surface so once again i will enter in pressure areas and i will write here 5 comma 6 so it selects internal area and pressure values i will write here 1 into 10 raised to 5 so here i will write 1 e5 okay so internal pressure is applied here now i will see its front view i will select nodes on this external surface as the pressure vessel has a saddle support so displacement on nodes select here box and select this nodes line so total count 10 nodes are selected okay displacement in y direction ui is 0 okay so in this way pressure vessel is supported now solution solve current ls okay now it is getting solved calculating eleven result solution is done close close general post to post read result plot result deformed shape so deform plus and deform shape we will observe now here dotted line shows dotted line shows actual shape and this one shows deformed shape now in contour plot we will see its stresses displacement so first of all we will see displacement vector so this is what result on displacement in pressure vessel then we will see stresses in x direction now who will tell me in this problem tangential stress acts in which direction tangential stress acts in which direction as in the design of pressure vessel tangential stress is considered as a criteria because it is maximum in pressure vessel design tangential stress is maximum so here x direction indicates tangent so i will select here nodal solution x component stress so this is what 4 1 7 3 8 1 Newton per mm square is a tangential stress developed, and this one is six two four one seven, which is a compressive stress. So why it happens? Because pressure vessel is supported at the bottom. Because reactions are observed at the bottom. Are you getting? So therefore, its value is negative, and compressive stress is developed over here. Now in nodal solution, you can select also one mass stress. So one mass stress gives the maximum value of pressure vessel at which pressure vessel is about to fail. Now maximum value is four to one two eight one newton per mm square. So this is the criteria. You see, this is the failure stress of this pressure vessel. Now in different regions, you can observe the pressure vessel uh, stresses in pressure vessel. So this is what. say consider red color zone in red color zone pressure stress varies from this quantity to this quantity so in yellow color region pressure varies sorry stress varies from this quantity to this quantity so different types of stresses you can observe now x y shear stress then y z shear stress similarly you can observe 
xzc air stress now particularly if you want to plot stresses developed along circumference how to plot them so this i am going to teach you now so this is very important point now how it is done say plot volumes enter in general post processing and here path operation ठीक है डिफाइन पाथ ऑन वर्किंग प्लेन सो हियर आई विल सिलेक्ट सर्क्युलर पाथ ओके ना हियर आई विल सिलेक्ट एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट जीरो वाई कोऑर्डिनेट जीरो एंड व्हाट इज इंटरनल रेडियस थर्टी फाइव एक्सटर्नल रेडियस फोर्टी फाइव सो व्हाट इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ थिकनेस फोर्टी सो हियर आई विल एंटर फोर्टी so at 40 mm radius one circle will be generated and along that circle you will get stress values okay now here i will define path as a name path okay now here one circle is generated so along that circle we will get results now map on to the path say displacement in x direction displacement in y direction displacement in z direction everything you are going to get because it is a three dimensional analysis so it is not limited to gate of displacement up to x and y direction similarly stress x direction y direction z direction x y shear stress y z shear stress then x z shear stress so these are the stresses in x y y z and z explain similarly principal stress s1 principal stress s2 principal stress s3 then one minus stress one minus stress is the last one now plot path item on graph now here i will select say first of all sx stress so this is the stress stress in x direction along the radius sorry along the circumference and the circumference value is 251.299 means it is near to 252 circumference is 252 and along that circumference stresses are in this way stress in x direction similarly you can get the value of stress in y direction so this is what stress in y direction similarly you will get stress in z direction along the circumference stress in z direction distribution of stress so this y axis shows stress value and x axis shows the circumference on graph similarly you can plot three stress values at a time sx xy and sz so here shows so this color shows sx sy and sz three stresses you can plot at a time similarly you can plot displacement in xy and z direction ux uy and uz on one graph are you getting so here it shows that displacement in z direction is maximum so this line its value is maximum are you getting now similarly you can plot principal stresses s1 s2 s3 on one plot so here s1 value is more and s2 and s3 value is less the reason for it may be that stress is pressure is applied in the direction of s1 stress are you getting and remaining two direction stress value is less in turn i will see stress value is compressive you can say minus 153.272 and its value is minus 580.489 newton per mm square similarly you can see one minus stress distribution along the circumference are you getting so one minus stress distribution now you can edit this graph plot control style graphs modify axis now here x axis level i will write circumference in bracket it's a unit mm and y axis level i will plot here s t r e w s e s stresses it's a unit newton per mm square so instead of stresses i will do here stress similarly i want to change 
scale of the graph so here 3 5 8 5 it is there so i will do here 3 5 8 6 divisions on y axis sorry limit limits on y axis here range of x and y axis so specified range on y axis is 0 to say minus 10000 to plus 10000 minus 10000 to plus 10000 uh, it is x axis range I think, huh? so x axis range 0 to 255 I will take 255 and y axis range minus 5000 to sorry minus 5000 it is not necessary minus 1000 to is it 1000 huh? minus 1000 to plus 5000 number of divisions on y axis and x axis you can define so here you can see graph is edited are you getting so this line shows what values are not in the range so i have to change specified range of y axis i should select here 1 lakh around so replot so here you can see stress is observed so in this way you can capture image of this graph and you can save in your presentation or anywhere else you want so similarly you will observe now animation so animation related to displacement or one minus stress value deformed results stress and one minus stress so this is animation of one mice stress distribution. So in this way, one mice stress is developed, and one mice stress is maximum at inner surface only because pressure is applied. Okay, now you try to solve this problem. So in this problem, only drawing is changed and element type. Rest of the things are saved. 